Today's Bitcoin investors are making incredible returns. In the last 10 years, the average yearly return has been more than 50% each year. That means you could double your money in less than two years. And in some years, Bitcoin grew over 100%. You can't generate that kind of money in most other investments. In this video, I'll explain how the price of Bitcoin is determined, who controls it, and why it keeps going higher and higher and higher. Hi, I'm Mark Kerrigan, author and founder of The Bitcoin Tutor. For most of the last decade, Bitcoin investors were techies, people who knew how to use a computer to buy and sell them. Then over the last five years, more and more people have been buying them at higher and higher prices. In this video, I'll explain how the price is determined, who controls it, and how you can get the best price when you're buying Bitcoin. Before we go on, please click the like button and subscribe just below the video. Click the bell icon if you want to be notified of new videos just like this one. So let's jump in. If you're not sure what Bitcoin is, be sure to refer to the video on this channel where I explain the basics of Bitcoin. So why is the price of Bitcoin so high? Well, it comes down to one thing. It's called the free market. This is where buyers and sellers come together and they decide what they're willing to buy and sell Bitcoin for. In the stock market, companies list their shares with a single exchange, like the New York Stock Exchange, the NASDAQ, or another international exchange. On the other hand, crypto exchanges are independent. There are hundreds of them and each one of them brings together buyers and sellers that find the price that they're willing to buy and sell Bitcoin for. So the price equilibrium or the price where people are willing to buy and sell can vary from exchange to exchange. Also, because you can buy and sell Bitcoin in other currencies like the dollar, the euro and the pound, those also fluctuate. Because the price for Bitcoins can vary from exchange to exchange, Sometimes traders do something called arbitrage. Arbitrage trading is about making money on the difference in price. So sometimes this is done in commodity markets as well, where there isn't a centralized exchange involved, like the CME, the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. So arbitrage is something that some people do with Bitcoin or with other currencies, and that's where they buy on one exchange where it's cheaper and sell on another exchange where it's more expensive and keep doing that over and over. And as you can imagine, over time, the exchange where the Bitcoin is the least expensive and where it's the most expensive can change. Now, there are many times where the difference is very, very small and it's not worth doing arbitrage. But in times of great volatility, there can be a good opportunity to make some money with that style of trading. So why is Bitcoin gaining so much in value? Well, as a currency, Bitcoin is good in some important ways and not so good in others. Well, it's good because it's relatively easy to buy with your country's own currency, like the US dollar, the euro, the pound, or whatever your local currency is. It's also a pretty good store of value, except though that it fluctuates pretty wildly. So if you put $10 worth of Bitcoin in today, tomorrow it could be five or it could be 15. So it does fluctuate quite a bit. And Bitcoin can also be used to buy goods and services, assuming the seller of what you want to buy is willing to accept your Bitcoin. Now, the reason why it's pretty bad is because it fluctuates wildly and it creates fear in people wanting to use cryptos to park their money safely. However, it is an opportunity since so many people are getting in. And that's why today cryptocurrencies are more like a stock market. And like the stock market, people invest with the hope that the value of the stocks, or in this case, the cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, will go up, up, and up. And in fact, for advanced traders, you can also buy long or buy short. So there are many opportunities in the crypto market. So why is Bitcoin going up and up over time? After all, back in 2013, Bitcoin was only about $40. And today it's well over $10,000 and climbing toward $20,000. Many analysts believe that it can easily reach $100,000 or more per Bitcoin in the very near future. Why? It's because of supply and demand. 
Bitcoin is the first digital currency to have a limited supply. Yes, there's a limit, only 21 million coins. And about 18 and a half million have already been created. And until the year 2140, coins will be created every single day. So with 8 billion people and 21 million coins, there's gonna be a shortage. Luckily, you can buy just a fraction of a Bitcoin, even a very small fraction, like one tenth, one hundredth, or even one millionth of a Bitcoin. Now, Bitcoin was designed from day one to be very valuable. And in so planning, it created eight decimal points instead of the typical two that you have with dollars and cents. So for dollars and cents, the smallest fraction is one one hundredth of a dollar or a cent. But the smallest piece of the Bitcoin is one over 100 million. That small amount is called a Satoshi, and that's named after the founder, Satoshi Nakamoto. So as interest grows, Bitcoin would likely continue to rise. And as other investments look weak or start dropping, like real estate, stocks, and bonds, people naturally look to other investments. And cryptos are that next investment for a lot of people. Average investors like you and me are getting in now, and wealthy investors are now on the surge. Large investment funds, the smart money as they call it, is also coming in, driving up prices. Not only is the number of new Bitcoins slowing down, but the demand is increasing rapidly. And with the laws of supply and demand, prices naturally rise. Note that everything I just said applies to more than Bitcoin. And in fact, most cryptocurrencies follow a very similar pattern. At some time in the future, the price of Bitcoin will likely stabilize. But what will be the price when that happens? $100,000 per Bitcoin? $500,000? Some people even think it'll be $1 million per Bitcoin. No one really knows. So to recap, the Bitcoin price is set by the free market based on buyers and sellers agreeing to the price that they want to buy or sell the Bitcoin. Prices are not set or regulated by any government, central bank, or other centralized or global entity. If a buyer and seller are willing to do a trade, then that's all they need. Before I close, I bet you probably know someone who would find this video interesting. Would you share it with them? Just click the share button below to send them the link. For more information, visit our website at thebitcointutor.com. Just enter your name and email for a free three-part video series on what you need to know to be successful with Bitcoin and other cryptos, all while doing it safely and securely. For even more information on today's topic, check out the links in the details box below. And until next time, keep learning about cryptos and profit from the knowledge.